Amy. Yep. Hi, everybody. Okay, so um, we are blending today. How exciting. And, th oh, you're not in here. Yeah, Hang on. Go. You want to be in it? Yeah, sure. Yay, cool. I want to be in it. Yeah. Yay, great. Look, there's our little class. Okay, <laughs> so today we're going to make our signature blend, which is uh, High on Life. Malibuio Signature Blend. They get the recipe because they're members. You are not going to get the recipe. You're going to hear what's in it, and then if you want to become a member and get the recipe, let us know. Okay, so um, we're going to make a 5 8 dram. So grab a little 5 8 dram. Sure, I'll make one. So today we're focusing on uplifting blends that are still really soothing, okay. right? Next time we're going to do sleepy time blends, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And that's on the 10th? Is that when you're doing that? Yeah, I'm going to do that one on Saturday. Uh, Saturday. Okay. I'll probably do that one at my house, which it wouldn't be far for you because you can take the freeway back around. I'm in Agora. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. off of Canaan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. so really close. Okay. Um, and if you're not in California, you get to watch these. Okay, so... The, the way that we start by making a blend and how I design High on Life, right, is we want to think about what our beginning point is, point A, mm -hmm. to point B, okay. right? Because all of these are going to be naturally soothing um, because they activate the parasympathetic nervous system because they are pure plant matter, mm -hmm. right? So our sympathetic, parasympathetic nervous systems are an on-off switch, which you know. Yep. And we mm -hmm. probably know that mm -hmm. now too, because they're like yoga and yoga too, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, great. She, 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 she totally she taught. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So the reason why I created High on Life was because I can't use caffeine mm -hmm. because of my adrenal glands, and because I don't know about you, but that stuff makes me jittery. Even bulletproof coffee, which they're supposed to, they say is not supposed to make you jittery. Right. Um, totally makes me jittery, mm -hmm. right? So I can't really have any caffeine. Mm -hmm. Somehow on vacation, I can. I don't know why that is. Because your parasympathetic <laughs> nervous system is like, I'm yeah, on vacation. It's already <laughs> bad. Like it kind of goes like, ooh, that's zingy, right? Um, instead of being like, no, I'm freaking out, right? So I think it is because I don't have stress anyway that it, it doesn't do the same thing to me. Mm -hmm. So that's my point A. My point A is I'm trying to wake up. Mm -hmm. All right, I want to feel energized, but I want to feel balanced and centered, mm -hmm. not like too out there, okay. right? So that's how High on Life was born. Um, it's a morning oil, it's my morning oil. And then I use it, the nice thing about it is even if it's evening time and like let's say we're gonna go out and I'm just not feeling it, mm -hmm. of course, you mm -hmm. know, yeah, which <laughs> happens to me a lot. Um, just don't feel like going, right? This kind of gets me out there, makes me a little sparkly again. Okay. So let's do a little you can dance longer. Yeah, yeah right. So I actually used it the other day you did? Uh, on a show. Yeah, on the and the security floor? guard was like, "What is that?" And I'm like, "No, it's essential oils." <laughs> did you give some? I got so like, smart. Yeah. Yeah. So no the, the reason why we're doing a five eight dram, and you know, we always talk about the five eight dram, which I say, you know, this is how you can tell that I'm a lousy salesperson because. <laughs> I want everybody to use the least amount of oils necessary for the effect, right? Yeah. So this is how we do a 5 8 And I'm just going to give you a little tutorial. So you want to hold it between your thumb and middle finger and then turn it upside down. So the great thing about this is when you turn it upside down, nothing comes out. Mm -hmm. When you do that with these, we don't know what's going to come out. Right. Mm -hmm. One drop, five drops, mm -hmm. yeah. So then you tap as hard as you want. Because the more you, the harder you tap, the more it comes out. And mm -hmm. then you cup over your nose and mouth. Don't touch your eyeballs. And we want to, we, we get two minutes before this flashes off. So about eight breaths. I know what it does for me. What does that do? What is, how do you feel when you have that one? I can really 
feel all my senses, like my nose and everything comes up and does kind of wake you up a little. Oh yeah, totally. And actually I had a little bit of a stomach ache and like I could feel it just like soothe me. And yeah. also because I was like breathing into it, but yeah, yeah. I just okay. felt soothing. You have a fine, so this one, this particular blend too, because it's frankincense, wild orange, and peppermint, that's mm -hmm. the ingredients, the secret number formula I'm not going to give you. <laughs> um, so, but this one, because these are all digestibles, you could go like this. Oops. Okay, she's not coming. That's fine. Okay, great. That was the last person that was a maybe to come. Is this so, the high line? Yeah, so you okay. can tap that right on your tongue. Okay. Yeah, so stick your tongue out. There you go. So this is what makes this really easy to share because you can share with people and you're the only one touching it, right? Mm -hmm. And um, there's a hundred taps in one of these little bottles. Oh, that's good to know. So you, we Do sample, every day for yeah, we sample the entire entire farmers market on two of these on wow. a Sunday. Yeah, that's awesome. It's great, right? Yeah. So you know, and the reason why I do this one because this is not the cheapest one um, is because I want everybody to just get a tiny bit of frankincense. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Right, and there's so much chemistry in a single drop, right? That one drop of peppermint is equivalent to the amount of chemistry that you would get from 28 cups of peppermint tea. Right. So for your digestive system, right, you could drink 14 cups of tea or you could have a half cup of peppermint. Right. Or a half drop. Half right. drop. So what this is administering when we tap it, depending on how hard you tap it, is a quarter to a half a drop. There's 40 plus drops in each of these. You know, it's the, the size of the drops per oil changes. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like kind of about half a drop sure. and it's mm -hmm. kind of about a hundred taps then. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that makes so sense. these are fantastic. That's why we really promote the 5 8 strand because these are pure plant matter. These are pure oils. This is not cut with uh, any synthetics. Obviously, or with, it would not activate your parasympathetic nervous system mm -hmm. if it had even a little synthetic. So that's why with people with Glade plug-ins, you might like the smell of it, but it's still freaking your body out. Mm -hmm. Right, so or and plus, um, you never want to heat oils, right? So there's a beautiful diffuser back there if you can see it. Yeah. That's glass and wood. Um, I gave it to Susan as a gift because oh, it's a little nice. noisy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> for the house, oh, it was, yeah. I was like writing. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> it's so but in it's here, cool. it's totally perfect. It changed this color. Yeah, it does. Really, it's so fun. groovy, right? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> like, Susan, this is perfect for you. Because she had one of the crappy. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> one I bought is crap. Yeah. Did you get the pedal one? Yes. Yeah. I have it. And it's great to travel with. But yeah. I want something different for the house. You okay. Know I take it with me everywhere. Oh. Like, I mean, anybody's house, the first thing I do is set up my diffuser really? when I get there. You just bought awesome. these Good to know. little car diffusers that are yeah. so cute that oh, they right. fit right in the cup holder yeah. and they also plug into USB. Yeah. So you can plug that into your computer or your car or where like it's this yeah. it's Perfect. as big as this cup a little like twice the size of this cup yeah. yeah and i've been encouraging uber drivers to try to get them because oh they have those God. chemical i call them chemical trees i'm like the chemical trees like i don't want to ride in their uber no. i'm like no thank you so i'll wait for another one those are, those are it hurts disgusting. me yeah. yeah it does and, and that what's happening yeah. is your body is having it activated by the stress of the synthetics yeah. mm -hmm. and this is the thing like our air that we live in is so toxic it's actually about 50 times more toxic indoors than outdoors mm -hmm. so when you're diffusing right um, that helps to balance the air inside also bats down chemicals and pathogens mm -hmm. bacteria right so depends on what you're diffusing and what it'll do right. um, sometimes like if I were an uber driver I would be diffusing on guard <laughs> like I'm yeah you know what I'm yeah because yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they're touching your things and, yeah <laughs> oh my god right yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's a little side trip on diffusion because this is a hand diffusion what a hand diffusion does is it's stronger Right, so you're actually coating those exposed dendrites uh, inside your olfactory system. And it's the only place where your nervous system is exposed to the outside environment. Mm -hmm. So people actually, because there's so much toxicity in the air, we breathe shallow, right? Because you're almost like don't, your body doesn't want it. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna go like, 
okay, just enough, you know? And so we sort of learn to breathe shallowly because we're protecting our nervous system from synthetics in one way. So this way you coat those dendrites in these natural substances you'll just start to breathe easier, right? I feel so like the same with the yoga classes, you should, like the Uber, you should have a diffuser always going because of all the germs. You're trying to take deep breaths in yoga yeah. class, yeah. not like little yeah. circles. Yeah. Really so it's great nice. to start people with a hand diffusion mm -hmm. because then they'll they'll get it, their body will get it, and it'll snap it. Because yoga obviously turns on the parasympathetic, oh, yeah. but for a lot of people, it can take 15, 20 minutes right. before they get right. there. How long do you think it takes them? I think it takes at least 20 minutes, yeah. and it, especially if they don't practice on a regular basis. Yeah. Sometimes it's like they never relax. It depends like, on where they are. They're taking one breath, the whole class is start, but come back tomorrow. <laughs> so, yeah. so this, if you give them a hand diffusion right away, That's and you can do an energizing diffusion so they can feel like moving, right? right. Instead of, if people are exhausted and you give them a, a sleepy time one, they'll fall asleep. Right. So, 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 yeah, <laughs> it, that's a great time then to give them that relief one. Unless you see when they came, come in, they're super anxious, mm. you might want to take them down to normal. Right. Right? So I if they're up the there, we want, so this blend that we're, I'm going to teach you how to make today, and you'll pick, you're going to design your own. We're going to make high on life and then they're going to design their own. Right? Um, is, is, from here to here, right? So I tell people like high like there's no ceiling. During the farmer's market, I'm that bartender that you get a tap and I get a tap. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it together because there's no ceiling, right? So if I'm here and it gets me to here and then I go here and then I get a little tired because I'm not that social and I'm talking to a lot of people, right? Mm -hmm. I'll go to here. Then it, it um, fluctuates, right? And I can sort of keep myself at that higher right. level. Yeah. And people go like, I'm already high on life. I'm like, is there is there a ceiling to that? Like, do because people who are already happy, they'll smell it, they'll just start giggling. Right. You know what I mean? I see it with little kids all the time where they're like, <laughs> you know, they just go, it's opening. So this is the second one. This is kind of similar, but I want to show you that you have the option of doing one <clears throat> that's more respiratory in nature. So you want to pick. So this one we do this way. So I make a circle and then I put it right on my palm, and I pump this one into. My <clears throat> so you can do this process with respiratory oils. Respiratory mm -hmm. oils, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can taste it. Totally. Yeah, Respi yeah right? Mm -hmm. Now it's more in your throat, yeah. more in your lungs. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I did this selfishly because my throat was a little scratchy, which you guys just heard, and now it's not. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Wow, yeah. Also, this has spearmint in it, which is the oil of confident mm. speech. So mm. I'm sort of like medicating myself and, you know what Teaching I mean? Teaching opening up your chakra. Yeah. Opening it all up because <laughs> it was a little bit compressed and now you can feel it's a little bit more open, yeah. right? Yeah. Like before you teach, it's a great thing. I know, it gives you a little bit breath yeah. too. Um, <laughs> It's not for singers, right? Because mm. we it's cooling. Mm. And we don't want to cool the vocal cords if you're going to try to stretch range, right? Mm. Um, for that one, I would I actually make a singer's blend um, because it's warming but still relaxing and soothing, right? Mm -hmm. For that, I would use cassia, which is stage fright oil, right? But oh. then it's really warming. Uh, let me see if I have cassia. I, I used this before a big... Um, speaking event I did and I normally don't like the smell of it in fact I had all was this is my first time I've, I'm opening a new bottle because I had one bottle of Cassia for three years wow so this is my new bottle because I was like okay I like Cassia if you need it yeah I like it that's interesting is like, like a Chinese cinnamon yeah, yeah cinnamon that's what yeah. I was going to say yeah. yeah it's it's different from it's regular different. cinnamon oh, totally. yeah. yeah all right I'll just put this here. And that's where the warm comes from. from the yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the point A, we're kind of roaming, but point A was where you start. For me, I'm a little sleepy. I gotta wake up, right? Mm -hmm. So so what we're gonna do is so get yourself a little plate. I don't need this. You can use this if you want. So you have something to pour on. And I gave them the magic formula. And basically, you're going to think about how this, for this one, think about, um, so the total of these three drops when you when you add them together, right, 
Oh, you wrote it down for me too. You're so cute. Okay, so that's 14 drops total. Okay. This is the ratios okay. that I'm getting. Okay. And I like to do things in ratios because sometimes we do things in large batches, mm -hmm. right? And what I want you to do by starting out by trying high on life first is first you're going to try to copy my, my high on life, right? And then we'll see like, okay, that's it. You know what I mean? And then next we'll, we'll create one. You'll pick something and you'll create it, which will be okay. super fun. So if you think that this is 14 drops, right, mm -hmm. then you're going to go ahead and multiply that by 3 because that's going to come out to like 42 drops, okay. right? Yeah. So so do and don't do this final number until you get it right. Now the thing that you have to remember is the batches are produce, right? Mm. So they're different strengths, they're diff it's different season, it's different, you know, temperature here, like everything about it shifts it a little bit. So even though this is my general formula, I always need another nose that says, that's it. It's doing the point A to point B. Got it. Right? So mm -hmm. your experience of high on life, which what did you experience? Oh, I felt a little bit more alert, but it also soothed my stomach. Okay, what great. Was going on with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to try to mimic that effect, right? So start with the, um, you can start with frankincense. You'll multiply okay. that by three. You start with wild orange, mm -hmm. right? And you're just going to count the drops when okay. you put them in, right? So you're going to tip it very gently to the side, and it'll roll off, mm -hmm. and, and then you'll be able to control it. It's okay. That's why you have the plate. If you spill, it's no big deal. And now, while they're doing that, so you'll do triple of each of them, and then here's the peppermint. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this blend. So frankincense is the oil of truth, right? So frankincense reveals de deceptions and false truths. It invites individuals to let go of lower vibrations, lies, deceptions, and negativity. Uh, I'm reading out of this book, The Emotions mm -hmm. and Essential Oils. You Great have this book. one. Yeah, yeah, right. You love this one. I love this one too. I remember when this one got put in my hands by Courtney Parkinson. Um, she was like, You have to have this book. <laughs> it's a great book. I was like, Okay. So, uh, Frankincense assists in pulling the scales of darkness from the eyes. It is a powerful cleanser of spiritual darkness. And through connecting the soul with its inner light, this oil mm -hmm. reveals the truth. Um, I also call this the daddy issue oil because it's the divine masculine, right? And it says, frankincense supports in creating a healthy attachment with one's father. It assists in spiritual awakening and helps an individual feel the fatherly love of the divine. So when one is felt abandoned or forgotten, hello, uh, frankincense <laughs> reminds them that they are loved and protected. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so that's myrrh. Oh, yeah. Did it's you know so that? Thick. Yeah. I've been hearing that. I haven't. I haven't on it yet, so. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll make a more an option for you today. Um, that's the thing. So frankincense and myrrh, divine feminine, divine masculine, mother, father, uh, father, child bond, and mother, child bond. So, the oh, right? Yeah. yeah. Frankincense, myrrh, so cool. and then gold. Oh. I actually make another blend called wisdom, uh -huh. um, which is, uh, and you know, some of you have heard me say this before. I think the, the Chinese oh, yeah. were the wise men because they were on two hump camels, mm. only in China. Mm. And uh, plus my Taoist master was like, they're totally Chinese. I'm like, <laughs> I believe you. Um, but they had to stop in the Middle East to get their frankincense, right? And they keep going and they're more, yeah. right? And then at that time, the yeah. Like, that's what they did. Mm -hmm. Oh, they knew it was where worth more than anything. It was worth else. more than anything. And it was much more valuable than the gold. Yeah. So to me, then wow. why was that gold there? And this was actually introduced mm -hmm. to me, that concept was introduced to me by Bambi Merriweather, who is in La Jolla and a badass healer. Um, she, she, I don't think she's on Facebook, but we, we can get her. Uh, if you're in La Jolla, don't miss out on Bambi Merriweather, okay? So she's the one that sort of presented this idea to me, and I just went like, yeah. So mm -hmm. I, in my blend, used lemon to be that third bit of alchemy, okay. right? So I do frankincense, myrrh, and lemon. And then that way, that cuts the myrrh. And that's the wisdom? That's wisdom, yeah. Okay. You can write that down, yeah. write back, take me a note, because you mm -hmm. might like to make that. 
um, later or today or, you know, because that's a perfectly balanced one too. Now, okay, so you did three drops of each. Okay, I probably I should have had you do two. I think I did a little too many of the orange. My multiplication was off. Okay, so um, that's okay. So we'll see if you did it right, right? Okay. So, so we're going to close it up. This is a very high tech item. This is a 5 8 strap oh, closer. Oh, yeah, this is what this we're all is, made This right? is a, a, a wooden thumb. <laughs> so I can, love it. Because you can only use your thumb so many times. So put it in this this pot here. This one's for a quarter gram, which is even bitter, bitter. Okay, so put that there. And then, yep, just hold it and close. Now, y y you can use your thumb, it's fine. But we do, you know, look at how many of these we do. I'm not using my thumb. So, like a permanent yeah. on your thumb. <laughs> It used to be the most miserable oh. part of building kit. And then it's like, it's not really that clean, necessarily, either, right? I mean, I wash my hands, but... Get it? Did you get it? Course. Yeah, it's yeah, in. Got it. Okay, great. So now let's test your batch, right? I already know. I feel like I need to shake it. Do you have to shake it? Yeah, so you can just sort of, you can shake it if you want. You can put it in the lid. And now I don't go like, with my oil. Right. I kind of just go like this. Pop it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I treat the oils gently, because they treat me gently. Okay, so that's frankincense. So now, um, let's test. Peppermint is the oil of the buoyant heart. Wild orange as well. Yeah, yeah. and wild orange like is, the is, mm -hmm. the or is the oil of abundance, creativity, and cheer. So you can mm -hmm. see why I call this high on right? So let me test yours. Let me test my technique here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go, you had it. I need a little more. I, could, I can't quite catch it with that. There you go. There you go. Yeah, look at the timing of that sound. Mm -hmm. It's a little instrument. You know, mm -hmm. like, let her try it. See if it's... Yes. It's interesting because I, I run hot too. So like mm -hmm. that changes the chemistry because my hands are always Yeah, sweaty. yeah. So it absorbs right away. I feel like that's a little light on the peppermint. Mm. It's not lighting me up and, and opening it up as much as okay. I'm used to. Yeah. I probably, see, I screwed up a little bit. I probably should have had him do double the batch so that we have room to adjust it. Mm. Right, but that's okay. You're going to put a little bit of yours in this bottle, which is mine. Okay. So here's how you open a 5 inch drink. Yes. Another high tech item. <laughs> Scissors. <laughs> um, they sell, bought you know, openers. I I, I bought one, and then I just went scissors. Okay, well should, we don't have it tested mm. first yet. Let me do this. So eight times out of ten, I'm not going to screw up the cap. Okay. Yeah. So I just sort of wedged it on either side between the glass and the plastic, mm -hmm. and then I just. Lift off one side and the other mm -hmm. side goes. Okay, so um, let's put. Oh, you have room in here. Yeah, you have room. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's close enough. So I would say add four more drops of peppermint. Four more. Okay. okay. Four, four more drops of peppermint. Okay. okay. Let's try yours. Okay. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little That's too orangey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you guys go ahead and slap that bottom. Yeah. There you go. Now, here's the thing. Because we did High on Life already, the peppermint's not going to seem as strong because yes. that first hit opens you up. Once you're open, you're open, right? Mm -hmm. So the act of getting opened up is already, already happened, yeah. but it's. I think yours is a little light it's, on peppermint. Yeah, yeah it's well. definitely it's majority orange. orange. Yeah, yeah. And, and you, I, think I, added I don't a couple think you have drops room. orange. Okay, so do yeah. you want to try to open it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And then you can add it to this little bottle. So we never waste the oils. I honestly like, even when a bottle is at its absolute end, right? Then I, I've used it with the reducer on. Mm -hmm. Then I'll take the reducer off mm -hmm. and get whatever couple drops yeah. is left. Then I leave that bottle open and use it as a room deodorizer mm -hmm. because it's going to off gas whatever else is in there. And then also, I never throw away, say, my frankincense bottles, right? really any of these three because you can use your empty bottles to make a big batch of a blend mm -hmm. as 
long as one of the ingredients was the original oil, okay. right? So you don't have to buy 15 milliliters or five milliliters. Um, you just save what you what you have and save a nice little assortment for yourself, right? I mean, um, we have a giant box of empties because we go through a lot. Right. We have a giant box of empties that we just move around the house. <laughs> like Earl's got one in the garage mm -hmm. because it's just this like great diffuser totally. in its own way. And then yep. plus then if I need to make whip up a thing real quick, mm -hmm. I'll just find it's almost always a Frankenstein's bottle I'm looking for. Um because Frankenstein's is in most of my plans. What's your favorite oil, right? Me? Yeah, it's so funny. We were just on this podcast. I listened to yeah, it. Yeah, and they, they said are awesome. Oh, uh uh Be the Hive, yeah. Oh my gosh, I, Vanessa, yeah. Be the wellness. They are the amazing. Wellness. Yeah. Like be, I wanna go meet them, yeah. Oh, I'm already inspired. Go, I was hoping Costa they would be Rica. here today. Oh, you're going? Yeah, yeah. We're going to go to Costa Rica. You should come. I think they're all full. November? Yeah. Are you guys full already? I don't know. <laughs> See if they're on here. Are you listening? <laughs> Can you? Can we come? Uh, <laughs> okay, so save these bottles. Don't throw them away. And don't think it's gone just because it doesn't come out. I was showing Abby how mm -hmm. the tube of deep blue, if you have tubes of deep blue, they're not empty. Cut that thing. The toothpaste too. There's Same a here. Cut, I there's cut a everything. Cut in there. <laughs> yeah. So it's like I grew up with a depression. Like nothing's going to waste in my house. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you Somebody cut the greens ground. off the carrots today. I was like, no, for no, some reason. No, we're still eating. I do the same thing. The corn husks I have not found no. any use for. I let those go. Um, <laughs> Not that we eat corn, that stuff's weird, right? So anyway, um, all right, so this blend, we're all over the place, that's okay, that's how we teach. Uh, the peppermint, the oil of buoyant heart, so we wanna make sure that we can sense that mm -hmm. in our blend, right? Okay, so how do we do? Let's see. So now, yeah, we keep putting the same blend on our hands because it flashes off in two minutes because it's pure mm -hmm. plant powder. Yeah, here we go. I like that. I just added the peppermint and the frankincense because I overdid it on the orange. Oh, time. I would have done just peppermint. Just peppermint? I mean, it's beautiful. It's I think it's nice. It's a little softer. Mm -hmm. But if it's frankincense heavy, I mean, let's just go with it. Right? Do you okay. like it? Yeah. 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 Okay, so that will be your high life. Here's a little high life sticker. So is frankincense the more centering? Or more That's more really more? grounding. Okay. And then it's frankincense. Okay. Like if you're frankincense heavy, let's just go with it. You know what yes. I mean? Because like, come on. <laughs> and then later, if you like, if you go, oh, I'm gonna add something. You know, with your go. There's you, little room. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Okay. Now stickers make the world go round when it comes to oils, mm. because especially with these five eighths drams, they don't have any writing on the side, and there's nothing worse. And you'll think, oh, I'll know what it is. I'll know for sure what it is. <laughs> no, it doesn't work <laughs> like that. Uh, <laughs> be careful if you have oregano in your purse and you think oh, you know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's and then, oh my god, so there was one time because I, I would do um, marjoram and frankincense are great for pain. Mm -hmm. And I was making a pain blend and I had to swap the lids out accidentally. Mm -hmm. And I like to put frankincense in my mouth. And these were full size drops. So I grabbed it from the top and I just went, uh, uh. And it was marjoram. Well, no. I really discovered something about marjoram, though, because that? my entire mouth went numb. Mm. And so I really figured out why it's such a great oh, pain so blend, because it's so numbing, mm. right? Like, I, I mean, it was, and here's the worst part. Tay-Tay, <laughs> if you're watching, my niece, Teresa, who has oil, and her boyfriend, Ron, I did it to them, too. Oh, no. So the three of us went, does that feel weird? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were no, like, no. like literally like started drooling from two drops of oh water. That's horrible. It was hilarious. But this is how we learn about things, right? Because Elaine Heartline is the one who figured out that um, geranium oh. works well on your lower parts mm. to get things going yes. because she accidentally touched her butt with dream. I love it. That's, yeah. So, have you know, you tried this? I have not. 
Oh, it's great. Yeah. It oh, works. Works. It totally works. Like, totally works. Yeah. The sex mix totally awesome. works. <laughs> yeah. And it's limited edition because there's only the one Jasmine. Yeah. I'll show right. Oh, right. I'll let you smell one of the other ones. I tote that around at people who are like, can you make something with Jasmine? I'm like, yeah, with Jasmine B, right? You know what I mean? I'm not going to use Jasmine A. Yeah. Yeah. No, because I got to go like rob people and beg them for their doTERRA Jasmine, you know what I mean? (laughs) So yeah, I I only make sex mix with it because I know how to maximize the use of each drop, right? Mm -hmm. And the last thing you want to do is do like two drops of Jasmine. Earl once gave away two drops of jasmine during a class to somebody who wasn't even a member, and I found out in the car on the way home. I was so angry at him, I almost got out of the car. I swear to God, I was like, that is our sex life. You don't love me. That's like eight different. This is what we hear. So the big important thing when we're blending, right? So High Life has three oils. Okay. And I want you to think three, I want you to think three oils, right? Because then we might need a fourth or a fifth to sort of balance it out and get your full purpose there. Mm-hmm. Now, um, Jeffrey Wen, who is a Taoist master, who is our essential oils Taoist master, he's the one that told me that uh, me, it was a lecture, okay, he's not privately teaching me, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> he told us that you never want to blend with more than five oils, mm-hmm. three to five, it's right? Overkill. Was that? Overkill. Well, what he said, which I love, is that <clears throat> you're expressing your own insecurity and your ex- insecurity of the oils themselves. Oh, I love that. That's, oh, that's oh, yeah. And even when you're cooking, I mean, I cook a lot. Cooking. And I feel like I make energy balls, and sometimes I want to yeah. add more. Mm-hmm. And it is when I'm coming from a place of, like, it's not right. And it's I'm not good enough. I'm self-doubting. Like, yeah. yeah. And then I end up at the same recipe, but I had to go through this whole long process. You know, yeah. it was all self-doubt. That's why I love that. Yeah. That's really and good. also, if you think about music, or colors, you're not gonna. Less is more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you do three notes and they harmonize beautifully, if you add three more, it doesn't sound like anything. You know what I mean? Like maybe you can get shades of that scale and four mm-hmm. or five. But once you get into. Yeah. I know I'm, I'm just really, I feel like I needed to hear that today because I think we're in this place of more and more and more yeah. and that's what we're trying to teach yeah, in general right. is not just to ourselves yeah. right because I have to teach myself all the time but yeah. to everyone yeah and we're yeah. lucky yeah. enough are we just so loud okay we're lucky to, oh, there's Susan. She, huh? this is her room. Malibu Aesthetics, Susan BC, best facials. Um, I get told her I wouldn't let anybody else touch my face. Mm-hmm. I don't. I go on vacation. I'm like, no, that's okay. I'm good. Um, so now we're going to look at this sheet and I'm going to post this one on our Facebook group. Okay. So that you guys have it. So this is a little mini mood management sheet. So think about your point a, what, what mood do you get into? And then we can pinpoint it, right? So if I'm anxious, a lot of times it's an overwhelmed feeling. Yeah. Right, it's too much. I have too much to do, and then I can't do anything. I sort of freeze, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Or, or I just can't focus. So, mm-hmm. what would be a point A for you? Mm-hmm. Like any mood thing where you, you know, or a mind thing, right? I'm getting a bad memory. I can't. Maybe like a re- feeling of regret. Regret. Like, Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Like rumination. Like overthinking yeah, things yeah, that have yeah. already happened or overthinking things that in the future or something. She's yeah. so young. <laughs> Let's Bring teach her no regret now. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Shame. Yeah. 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 Like, we don't need the shame. The oh guilt. my God. Like, leave <laughs> that over there. Let's <laughs> we'll teach you from our 40 year old okay. <laughs> perspective. <laughs> Gambling, drunk, stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, 
getting <laughs> into limousines with shady characters uh -huh. for a black chip. Yeah, that's another story. <laughs> oh, right now. Okay, so what? Uh, so, so let's put in your new section. So they also have this blending sheet. I'm gonna post one of these too because there's nothing like having just a really cool blending sheet that you can work with. And then I gave them a blank one so you can take it home and copy it. Right, mm -hmm. um, so that you have a blending sheet, a, a oh, blank one, because you want to keep your recipes. Um, I say that I have my blending book. Someday I'm going to move to digital, mm -hmm. uh, because if I lose this book, the whole company is screwed. <laughs> it's awful. Our recipes are good, and I'm just like carrying it around. Um, yeah. Irreplaceable recipes in that book. Okay, <laughs> so you want to keep your recipes, um, you know, and okay. with my clients that come to the market, I'll actually make them take a picture of the recipe mm -hmm. of the thing I made them mm -hmm. and then make them bring it back to me mm -hmm. because if I start flipping through that thing, we may never find it. Right, right. You know what I mean? So, and it's great because, like, I have a client that, um, celebrity, she loved, I made her her own, um, sleeping pill mm -hmm. recipe mm -hmm. that I muscle tested her for because mm -hmm. she had a really hard time sleeping mm -hmm. and it just works like a dream for her mm -hmm. and so she just wants the same thing every time and you'll find that too with like I just need that same one every time yeah right but then you want to make sure it has the effect right. so yours is regret and then what was your starting point um, I think what I'm like today what I've been mm -hmm. is exactly what I just talked about is that like my, I'm, I'm growing in a lot of ways, and so mm -hmm. that old self is like trying to come back and be like, you're not doing it right. So it's like self-doubt. Okay, okay, yeah. great. Okay, so the way we're gonna blend today is we're gonna make a synergistic plant, basically, that's all your own. Mm -hmm. And by that, I mean we're gonna choose one leaf, right, one fruit, and one wood or flower. Now the reason why is because we want this to be an uplifting blend, right? So mm -hmm. leaves, if you think about it, leaves are high up in the tree, right? They're uplifted, and they are also breathing for that tree. So they're sort of your air, you know? Mm -hmm. And fruit, too. So fruit's up there. Then the woods and the flowers, they tend to be low to the ground, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Barks, roots. They're low to the ground. So there that's a really easy way to be like what oils are uplifting and what oils are more sedative. Okay. The uplifting ones are off the ground. The more sedative ones, the grounding ones mm -hmm. are on the ground. Mm -hmm. Or under the ground, right? Mm -hmm. Roots like ginger and um, uh, vetiver. I mean vetiver is nature's tranquilizer. Mm -hmm. So intensely low, right? Yeah, that's for people with like major anxiety. Yeah. I, I use it in my sleep one, but like I said, if you have a lot of anxiety, you're just trying to get to normal, right? right? Yeah. Then you might want something like that, right? So, um, tell me your purpose once again. Oh, I'm just, I've been struggling with it, I like self-doubt. Okay, self-doubt. Yeah. Okay, great. So, I'm going to give her some clues on that one, right? Because bergamot is the oil of self-love. Mm. So that might be a really great. So funny. I just tasted bergamot uh, sheep's yogurt that, at the farmer's market. Oh, yeah. Okay. I ended up buying some. Oh, good. So read <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. So see like, that it's is. It's like second time this morning. Yeah. So we'll read it out loud. Okay. Bergamot, really, bergamot, the oil of self acceptance. Bergamot relieves feelings of despair, self judgment, and low self esteem. It supports the individual in need of self acceptance and self love. Bergamot invites individuals to see life with more optimism. Bergamot has a cleansing effect on stagnant feelings, I love that, mm -hmm. and limiting belief systems. Because of individuals' core beliefs of being bad, unlovable, and not good enough, they seek to hide behind a facade of cheerfulness, faking it till you make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they may fear revealing their true thoughts and feelings. Bergamot's powerful cleansing properties generate movement in the energy system, which in turn brings hope. In this way, bergamot is a wonderful antidepressant. It awakens the soul to hope and offers courage to share the inner self. Reigniting optimism and confidence in the self, it imparts true self-acceptance. Bergamot teaches individuals to let go of self-judgment by learning to love themselves unconditionally. Yay. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so smell it and then see if it resonates with you just by smell. 
Oh, let me get my coffee for refreshing our sniffer. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So you might want to start. Well, and it was the second time I've heard of it today. So. Yeah. Do you like it too? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to use that too? Yeah. Okay, great. So this is actually found coffee CO2 extract because coffee resets oh. your mm -hmm. sense of yeah. smell. That's why they have it at the perfume oh, counter, yeah. right? Yeah. Unfortunately, since perfume usually have synthetics, it's not really going to work. But since we're not dealing yeah. with synthetics, just because it's themed, this is coffee Send a CO2 oh, extract. So awesome. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah, I love that. So you can't drink it, but you can smell it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Because coffee smells so good. It, it smells, smells so good. good. Yeah. And this yeah. is a sometimes. way to like not deny yeah, myself. Exactly. Yeah, that smell, right? You can have life and then smell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was zingy though, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you can I use it if you want. It. That's a bean. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see, as we go along, we're going to giggle more and more because these are uplifting oils, so we're going to get giggly. Um, okay, great. So you guys both like that for yes. your issue. We can use bergamot as a base. So, or we think we can, right? We'll, we'll start with something else. Now, um, for regret, where did my oh. book go? Right here. Okay. So for regret, I kind of want to, so now that we're going to pick a leaf for you each, and then um, let's look at you for, um, try, smell this one. So this is. So bergamot was the wood or flower. That's a fruit. A fruit. Bergamot's a fruit. And there's a little picture of it here. Great. It's a little, it's a little green citrus fruit. Interesting. This one. And it comes from, uh, it comes from... Promotes letting go, that's a good one. That's what it says. Yeah, promotes letting go, so mm -hmm. that's really a good one for you. Is there anything here that, that kind of speaks to you? Mm. Um, oh, look, oh, so on the back side of this, look like I'm seeing it for the first time. On the back side of it, it does it by condition for mood magic. Oh. Agitation, anger, anorexia, anxiety, apathy, bulimia. So let's see, what, where would yours fall in? Memory? I think maybe a little bit of grief. Grief? Or disappointment. Disappointment, maybe. Okay, disappointment. Yeah. Okay, great. Let's look at the disappointment ones. Bergamot, yay. Yay. Cypress, yeah. frankincense, wild orange. Okay, so let's smell cypress. So cypress, I have it. Of course I have it. There we go. Cypress is also the oil you let it go. Let me see what it says here. So yeah, you can smell the cap or the bottle. So when I'm a bigger a cloud, like tea tree, are you into it? Leaf. Not into it. This is the leaf, right? Yeah, that would be a leaf. So she's I looking at a cipher. It's very earthy. On the back of your sheet, oh, it's very earthy. yeah. On the back of your sheet is by oh, mood. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. So we picked for her disappointment. Mm -hmm. She's already got bergamot in there. Bergamot oh. just depends on what side of the Mississippi you're on. <laughs> this reminds me of like a hike. Yeah. yeah. Just like Which is nice. The earth floor. Yeah. Okay, so let's pos okay. make this a possibility okay. for you. And then, you, so looking at this, what would you put your thing under? Um, I need a memory one. Mm -hmm. I'm having one. Would it be fear? Ooh, mental. I'm gonna make a mental fatigue blend for myself. I my brain gets tired. <laughs> smell this one. Smell basil. Basil is so. I was telling her you can smell from the cap mm. or the bottle. Mm. I love basil. Basil strong. Oh wow, well, yeah. This is so interesting. Like you can have the basil plant to your face, mm -hmm. and the, but this is just so. Cooks, yeah, yeah. And, and that's the thing, if you want to smell, you that's know, I do this on yeah. hikes, like I'll take that clary sage mm -hmm. and I'll just brush my hand and try to squeeze that flower a little bit. And to be honest, I kind of ask permission. I, I don't like to molest plants <laughs> in nature. <laughs> you know, like they're there growing wild and this yeah. one, I'm like whoop and trying to get all the oils out. So I kind of ask. Uh, Hi, how are you watching? 
I kind of ask the plant if it's okay if I kind of get some of the oils out of it. Mm -hmm. But I like to experience a lot of plants in nature. And right now there's so oh. many things in bloom. Oh, and all the rain. It's the, crazy. Um, oh, yeah. oh, I don't know how you can hike in Northern California, like back home that I haven't been on. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Like from one year to another. Just so. I know. Gorgeous. There are these flowers that usually like they're this high. Mm -hmm. And they were six feet tall. We could, we're looking at them on horseback, like eye level. Mm -hmm. That's a it's just a spectacular yeah, yeah, we're, um, but yeah so so essential oils are basically the oils of the flowers or the leaves so you can sort of like crush them or rub, uh, rub them and then there's uh, there's um, the oils will come out and you'll be able to smell it it's particularly easy with like rosemary you know basil mm -hmm. sometimes you can just crush it and get it mm -hmm. and and some you know the, the other thing too about herbs right there's theories that they prefer to be torn by hand mm -hmm. Then chopped with a knife, mm -hmm. right? And and I so I'll take my basil and I'll just tear it by hand um, because then I get that oil released, okay. right? Whereas you chop it with a knife, it's interacting with the metal and doing different stuff. Right. Okay. So, did you like this as for for? Um, I'll think about it. Okay, I'm gonna like think about it for mine too because I'm gonna make a mental yeah. fatigue one. So, do, do any of these categories resonate with what, what you were? Indecision. Indecision. Yeah, I was <laughs> you're, about yeah. smell. you're being indecisive about indecision. Right. Okay, so let's smell. So, you have bergamot. That is your um, your uh, fruit. Okay? Then you can look at, you can work the peppermint. You can smell the peppermint to see if you want that to go with it. Peppermint's you smell just a clary sage. Is that a yeah, clary sage is here. You want to smell clary sage? Yeah. And now to smell the two together to see if you like it, you're actually going to put both caps in your hands. Mm -hmm. I want to wait till you get your third one though, because then you'll put all okay. three and smell them together. Is clary sage a flower? Flower. Yeah. And that's mm. also a great hormone balancer, and it's relaxing. I really like that yeah, one. I was going to say it's really good. You know, the it's other like important thing about clary sage, too, is it brings mm -hmm. in your intuition. Mm -hmm. And sometimes oh. we need to, like, step out of our brain mm -hmm. and let our intuition come forward. There's a whole, we were developing uh, clary sage, too, helps with, like, milk flow if you're lactating. Mm -hmm. But let's say your boobs are just a little bit um, down, <laughs> <laughs> having a down. <laughs> moment. Now, I haven't done this one yet because my boobs, I kind of like where they are. They're very real looking, mm -hmm. seeing as how they're real. Um, <laughs> but like, let's say they start to deflate, right? We could do coconut uh, oil and clary sage and rub on our breasts. Yeah, because this is also our satellite dishes mm -hmm. for our intuition, mm -hmm. right? This is why men are fascinated by our boobies. It's not just it's like... Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> they just look at them and go like, "There's all your magic is in those boobies, and I don't have anything." Yeah, you know? brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah. So <laughs> seriously. <laughs> so their fascination with it isn't just because it's extra flesh. Oh, right? yeah. There's plenty yeah. of men with man boobs, but we <laughs> we carry that yeah. intelligence in our breasts. So sometimes to apply it directly, we'll make them go. Our little antennas will go like. Rah, rah, rah. Right, mm -hmm. tip our dishes up a little bit. Oh. So, um, clary, clary sage. sage coconut. I yeah. think I really like the clary sage. Oh. That's like this okay, thing. great. So you, she likes like clary sage. Three. So now you're gonna take all three lids off. Okay. So you take the lids off of your full size bottles. Yeah. And you've got your. Okay, we'll wait to. I wonder. Yeah, first. I like the clary sage, but let's see what you get. And then did you, so. Did you like peppermint as a leaf? But here's some other leaves if you want to smell. This is really okay. pretty. Cypress is a leaf, right? Cypress, Cypress is a leaf. Yeah. Leaf and then flower. Flower. Yeah. So fruit. two uppers to one downer. Is Just that? to make it easier okay. for you guys to understand, mm -hmm. right? So which are the two uppers? The cypress and, and the bergamot. The bergamot and then the yeah. Fairy sages. And the flowers are low to the ground, Got right? It. Okay. Mm. That one interesting. Yeah, it is. Uh, I don't even know what that one is. I don't know. Pentagrain is pretty new um, to doTERRA. I did learn about it in this book, but I totally forgot. Let's see what it says. Oh, you've got the big book? Okay. That's okay. I've got it here. Let's see what is that one? Pentagrain? Pentagrain. Mm -hmm. Is 
So the uppers are going to be this, the fruit and the leaves. This one, it says here, depression, uplifting, stress, focus, and greasy and oily hair. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so what this basically is, pedigree is the stems and the leaves of the orange tree. Oh. So it has a little bit of the neroli smell, yeah. it has a little bit of the floral, but it is basically a leaf. So yeah. that one might be, um, and it's used a lot in perfumes. Huh. Now, both of you need to know, with bergamot especially, the hand diffusion is a great way to use it. Don't go like this and then go out into the sun. Bergamot mm -hmm. makes you more photosensitive. All the citrus oils mm. do. Right? So you don't oh, want yeah. to okay. pull, yeah. apply we're citrus oil. Right yeah, we're always in the sun. Yeah. Right. And you don't even want to do it in the back of your hand. Okay. Right? But the palm of your hand is totally great. Right? Right? Because it's just going to flash off. Now, it's going to flash off your skin too, but wherever you have a little bit of natural oil, it's going to penetrate a yeah. little more deeply, yeah. right? So not that you don't have that on your hands, but we wash our hands so much, it, like we're not like this tanning our hands, you know, it's, it's totally fine. Yeah. Where I don't go like, well, the inside of my hands are burning. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, so that's why it's great for diffusion like this or in your diffuser, right? Okay. Right. Okay. So you like? Did you like the pedigree for your leaf, or did you want to try one of these other ones? I'm gonna try one more. Okay. I gave them a selection, but and then how to find out if it's a leaf, a flower, or a fruit, or whatever it is? Um, go to uh, source2u.com, and it'll tell you that information. Also, if you don't have it, or you can look on the DoTerra website and they have everything by oil, and it'll tell you the plant part. And source to you will tell you the country and show you the farms and the harvesting and the growers and, you know, most of it, a lot of it's wild harvested, which is great. Okay, so good. So did you like the three together? Yes, I did. Okay, good. So now you wanna think, okay, with clary sage, bergamot, and cypress, which is great. So write down the oils that you've picked. You want a regular pen? So now they're going to write down. They're, you're going to. They're going to write down in this section the oils that they've chosen and what they're for. All right, because we want to measure its success level with your chemistry for point A to point B. Of course, we want it to be a beautiful smell and something that we enjoy. Mm -hmm. But for us, at, you know, our thing at Malibu Essential Oils is got to work. Right? Mm -hmm. It's got to be at a dilution level that works. Today we're doing full strength, 100% oils. Because for mood, we want it to go into the nervous system. We want it to affect the brain. Mm -hmm. We want to do a hand diffusion or be able to put it in our mouth. This blend is no longer edible, right? Because you use cypress. But that's okay. You don't need to eat them all. Okay. We don't need to eat them all. Okay, so, um, and let's get her settled on her three. Okay. Um, okay, I definitely want spearmint. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. And did you still want bergamot? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. And then I did another. So leaf? Yeah. Then you either want a uh, wood or, um, you know what I want you to smell? Smell oh. this one. Yeah, Douglas nice. fir is about new growth. Oh. Well, that's really yeah. Nice. I was attracted to the sandalwood. Mm. The sandalwood's fantastic. Mm. But. I like this one better. Okay, good. Because yeah. if we're doing an uplifting blend. Yeah. It's really low, right? Okay, so now take all three lids off and you'll do them in your hand and kind of shake it and then all three of the lids. Lids. Okay. Yeah. So this is a really is easy like, way to smell your blend. Mm -hmm. Now, right. of course, you're smelling them at equal weight, right? You're not getting to right. smell them at the we're gonna do different concentrations of each or mm -hmm. right ratios of each. Oh wow, yeah. I kind of like shake it up so it's in my hand and then go like that. There you go. Mm. Yeah. You like it? I do. Okay, great. Yeah. Let me set, let's, huh. let's share. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. yeah. And you know, you wouldn't think. No. <laughs> Experiment in the fur. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. And I only gave these gals about 20 oils to choose from today. Um, oh, obviously, 20. yeah, <laughs> that's me limiting it. Um, because I was like, oh, well, if they have a chair. Wait, what's this? This doesn't have a reducer. Mm -mm. I was gonna tell you that. Ooh. Okay, I yeah, 
But don't worry. That's so for some it. reason that one doesn't have a reducer, but what I do have, and I wanted to show you guys these anyway, is pipettes. All happens for a reason. Yeah. And this is all aroma tools. Is that where you get all these? Things? Um, you know, I price around, mm -hmm. but if you want to just date on one website, yeah, aroma okay. tools is really great. I actually get my pipettes off Amazon. Oh, okay. So, so pipettes are great because you can because there's no a reducer on that one, so she won't be able to count the drops. This is a little three mil pipette. This is how we do larger batches, okay. right? So when you get the ratio down and you like the ratio, you can do larger batches that instead of drops, you would do milliliters or mm. half milliliters, okay. right? And then suddenly you've expanded your recipe to fit a bigger bottle or right. just have more. Because obviously the 5 8 strand is great for carrying around and doing hand diffusions. Mm -hmm. But if you go like, I want to put this blend in my diffuser, you're going to want to kill yourself. You have to re-blend every time you make 45 drops. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So a pipette can be really useful, right? Um, so you'll use a pipette for the okay. experiment. Okay. So what you want to start with whenever you are pouring the blend, right, is you're going to start with the diva of the bunch. So that's whatever one that when you just smell it out of the bottle is kind of the strongest smell. Now, the three that you've chosen and the three that you've chosen are all very light. You don't have a heavy diva like, let's say, geranium mm -hmm. or the sandalwood, mm -hmm. right? You smell that sandalwood. Mm -hmm. That one is going to weigh down the whole blend. Mm -hmm. If you were to do equal parts sandalwood and the other things, it would only smell like sandalwood, mm -hmm. right? So with the base note, um, which is like that stronger one, right? So smell that. Like, that's a diva. Mm -hmm. That's a diva. Oh, She's yeah. going to take over. Yeah. That's geranium I'm having them smell. <laughs> Yeah, now smell that as opposed to the clary sage, which is also a flower, right? right. But you smell how, see subtle. how subtle and light she mm -hmm. is, right? Yes. She's light, right? Yeah. And, and, and I do think of these, each of these oils is a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. They all have their personalities. They're all good for some things, not other things, right? right? Yeah, so, absolutely. and so, and they are like, some are masculine, some are feminine, and I just have my own relationship to each oil, mm -hmm. right? So with a diva, I go like, okay, girl, we need to like, you know, but then again, they have function, so we sure. want to lean heavy on the function. Mm -hmm. So the best place to start when you're looking at these three as probably your diva is the wood, right? Um, because the wood is have, it's just going to be your base note for each of yeah. you. So start off by putting <clears throat> just four, four drops of your, your wood is like this. And mine's the fur. Oh, right? I'm sorry. Your wood is, yeah, your wood or flower is clary sage. sage. Yeah. And your Douglas fir. So right. do about four drops of <clears throat> Douglas fir. Because I know clary sage is lighter, you can put about six to seven drops. Oh, so it bergamot's fruit, right? Yeah. Okay. I was just thinking. So, but the Douglas fir is the bark. The, the, the Actually, the, Douglas fir, this is a really cool thing. Um, Douglas fir is a scourge in New Zealand right now. So it's kind of overgrowing and taking over all of these forest floors and, and choking out oh, no. a lot of other wild uh, Where? stuff. Yeah. yeah. In New Zealand. In New Zealand. And so what doTERRA is doing is they're gathering up all the new growth, all the stuff that's just basically a weed, and they're taking it and um, and distilling it. So it's the lightest, freshest of all of them. It's just this like brand new pine smell, yeah. right? And at the same time, they're kind of saving those forests that are oh, yeah. that are getting overpopulated yeah. with Douglas fir. Cool. So yeah, did you put four about four drops mm -hmm. in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So and then write down. Close, don't do the final count yet, right? Okay. Great. Okay. Your final, yeah, put those down. Put nine. Yeah. And then you did a little extra. Okay, great, sounds good. Okay, so now the next one you're gonna probably wanna do for you is Cypress, and for you is, uh, what was your Experiment. Spearmint and bergamot. Uh, yeah, do spearmint. Actually, spearmint is your little takeover one. So see oh. if you can put in about a half or one mil. It doesn't matter because you're going to count the drops that come out of there. Okay. So you're going to squeeze that bowl. First squeeze mm -hmm. it. First squeeze it, then put it in, then let it suck up a little bit. doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. We'll return whatever you don't use into the bottle. It's a brand new pipette, right? 
So why don't you, for your second one, mm -hmm. put in about uh, eight to ten drops of that as well. Of those ferment too, for me? Yeah, yes, yeah. So they have 45, 40, 45 drops to work with, right? So that's kind of, we're, we're building the formula right now mm -hmm. and we want to leave room for you to go like, ah, it's too much ferment, you know what I mean? So, to go like, okay, then we're going to add more of the other two, right? We just taught the two-year-olds in my play school how to use the pipette. Oh, oh really? it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It takes a little, you and know. And then you can cut these thing. open too after you're done with them, huh? Yeah, yeah, I never use them for the thick, thick oils like oh, yeah. uh, Vetiver or Myrrh. I just wait. I just wait. Just sit there. Like, yeah, because I don't want it to gum up the pipette and now I've lost like four drops inside the pipette. Sure. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's not, that, I don't want to do that. Okay, so then you're both working with bergamot. And so it's kind of switching around to smell what you've got, right? If you need a little refresher, the coffee's here. I think I need a refresher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. high. Sensory oils. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so all the leaf oils let off. And so you're. I you're, can feel it in my like, yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. They, no, they the yeah, exactly. oils, um, almost all have something called one eight cineol in them. One comma eight cineol, C I N E O L E, um, which is a um, dopaminergic. Mm. So, do oils get you high? Yeah, they kind of do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's how we want to get high. <laughs> That's how we want to get high. <laughs> okay. So now with the fruit, the mm -hmm. fruit we want to go a little heavier, right? So you want to do like 10, 12 drops of the fruit. Okay. Right. And, um, you know, what's happening here is it, it is, is a ratio. Mm -hmm. And we'll, when we get the final ratio, you'll know. But it's better if it's not like 10, 7, 10. You, you'll see, you'll see. Okay. But what, it is what it is. You know, Mojo, if for those of you who have tried mm -hmm. Mojo, love Mojo. Okay. Um, Mojo is Mojo is a, uh, a complicated little blend, you know. <laughs> complicated. Okay. Do you want to try it? Okay, I feel like I lost a little bit of the fur. Okay, so if you already know that, mm -hmm. then go ahead and add a couple more drops. Just keep track of what you're adding. Okay. Bergamot has no N. Bergamot, 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 yeah. Bergamot, bergamot. I know, it's bergamot. It's like turmeric. Yeah, it's yeah. Turmeric. It's turmeric. Yeah. <laughs> so, and when I'm going to add more, should I start with two? Yeah, with okay. the Douglas fir. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Douglas fir is pretty strong, and you know, whenever they're selling it in these little bottles. The five mils, right? Mm -hmm. Either it's strong or very difficult to source and make and therefore expensive. The cypress is definitely pretty strong. Okay. The three. Okay. So in the cypress, you had 10. Okay, so added two here. you added two more clary sage. Good. And then um, let me see where you're at. Do you like that? Do you do you wanna um should we test it? Yeah, let's okay. test it. Let's test it. Yeah. And if you want, we can test it with a pipette or we can test it by closing it and then you know what I mean? What do you think? Pipette? Maybe a pipette. Okay. Now that she's putting the pipette in a blend, we will not put it in a single oil, right? We have all of our pipettes marked. I do try to yeah, and it doesn't matter, you're just going to mm -hmm. give me one, one little block. Okay, great. So I'm actually trying to think of something I regret while I smell it and see oh. if I can... Hmm. Good regret. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
started making me want to cry. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, let me see it. somewhere yeah mm -hmm. actually had a little compassion for myself yeah, for my, yeah. <coughs> it's not coming easily <laughs> <laughs> I feel <coughs> like I need to process it you know what I mean yeah well it's interesting because your throat chakra is getting yeah up. <laughs> I probably need to go wow there's some <laughs> say I'm sorry up that needs to happen in this. yeah <laughs> Send my yeah. We'll send it with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna send my regrets yeah. to the light. Yeah, right. Because it is making me go like, Boy, you shouldn't have said that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what if I start thinking about all of those. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, it's really nice. lovely. Yeah, it's really pretty. So, so why don't you? Um, would you recommend just double yeah? Double I would it. just double it. Okay, cool. I would just double it. Was there anything you wanted more of to smell? I think it's really nicely balanced. I do too. I yeah. mean, you said the three is pretty good, right? Just three oils. Yeah, I okay. think it's pretty good. Yeah, poor thing. She's getting like visitors. And <laughs> um, yeah, I would just double that. Let's smell yours. Now I feel like it's too heavy on the spearmint. It is almost like that yes. first nose is all spearmint. Yeah. Okay, so so let's build around that spearmint, right? Mm -hmm. So let's add more bergamot. Okay. Um, I think you need quite a bit more, right? I did ten. Yeah. Why don't you do another eight to ten of bergamot? Yeah, because okay. that that would I think that should be your primary because it's kind of coming for you today. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel better now. Mm, oh, awesome. I feel <laughs> just worked it through just it. lifted. Yeah, oh, it just went like, okay, you're fine. It's yeah. fine. I already did say I was sorry, but I was like a little extra sorry. Oh. Yeah. So I don't need to apologize again yeah. because I need it. That's the <laughs> we have to be careful with that in life, right? Yes, we do. Too much. <laughs> yeah, well, and it's just like, it's all about me, of course. Yeah, so like, oh. I feel bad about the thing uh -huh. that so I let did. Me just re-enter you yeah. again by apologizing. Can I remind you that I did that? <laughs> <God. 'Cause laughs> I'm not over it. Oh, right. <laughs> yes. Gosh. We're human though. We're all human together. Thank goodness, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I get why you said um, smaller beginner doses. Yes. Because you can smell this is just like just there. If I needed to fix it, I wouldn't have been able to without no, pouring some out. Exactly. Yeah. That's where I messed up on this one, which is not, you know, whatever. I'm going to make myself a little. Um, make uh, another highlight, right? No, actually, oh. I'm going to um, use the highlight that you started with here, and I'm really intrigued by um, the basil. Mm. So I'm going to add basil to this highlight and see what happens. And this is what I love. It's just like, you know, this is where we get to like listen to ourselves. Mm -hmm. like, I'm I'm never really yeah. No good reason. And you know, on Lemon's another day, if you don't like it, it doesn't mean anything happened. It's just not your day for that oil. Yeah. That's why I carry this flipping many, right? Mm -hmm. Because I want to, when I sit down to my oils, and for people who are quitting smoking, um, we have. It's, it's really, you know, listen, half of everybody likes to smoke because they like the, um, they like the seven minute break. Mm -hmm. Let's face it, where you get to go and do something else and take a little break, release mm -hmm. some dopamine, right? So this is a little travel kit. This has eight oils and we sell these on our website, uh, malibueo.com. So, or you can, you know, build your own. If you have your kit, you just need some five eight drams, which you can order on Aroma Tools or um, doTERRA has 5 8 drams. They have, they'll sell you 12 for about 450. I don't like the lids. But mm. whatever, it's fine. It's fine. I'm totally tweaking. You don't have to listen to me. <laughs> um, I prefer the 5 8 drams with these lids. I'll tell you why. Their lids are very ridgy. I don't even think I, I, I had one in here and I went, screw it. It's out of here. Um, I have one in my purse. 
Yeah, they have a lot of ridges on them and because these come open in bags easily anyway, which is why I like the travel pouches, um, it, those come over open especially easily. But yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take that out, so I'm gonna have here. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little more basil to this. Now I'm totally winging this recipe. There's like a lot more ridges, really. Oh, no, so this, oh, no, that? this, in fact, I kind of like, this is the crazy part, I kind of like the reducer of the doTERRA ones. Oh, you mean this? The, yeah. yeah, yeah, I like the reducer. Oh, powder, I see. Because can you see that hole is a little smaller? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's the doTERRA one? Yeah, but you have to be experienced to really butt that in. You have to hear it. You have to hear it with the small mm -hmm. one. So this is a better beginner reducer, which I use for everything that I sell. Uh -huh. um, but yeah. This is the ridgy part that you're no, talking about? No, look at the lid, the actual oh. lid. This is how nerdy we get. Okay. <laughs> I'm so interested too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see how this has all oh. this very grippy. Uh -huh. This just has a few light ridges on it and it's, and it's shinier. Yeah. I like the shinier. <laughs> um, so things. this is the one from doTERRA, which yeah. is fine. I mean, now, now you'll never buy the one from doTERRA. I know, okay. but this, oh, totally. <laughs> these are shiny and smooth and I like the look. And, and then because we stick all these stickers, the sticker sticks better. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm actually looking for Oh, new. because it has less ridges on here. Exactly. Too. So this one, it just sticks right. flush, yep. right? Yep. Okay, that's the ex extra that. nerdy 5 8 dram talk. <laughs> But the, you know, I know El El Russ is a, a now a friend of ours. We did her podcast, um, on Primal Blueprint. Uh, Earl and I did a podcast with them as well, and she loves things tiny. But don't we love we love things tiny? It's so great. Yeah. So that's how tiny these are. Mm -hmm. With a hundred uses. So I tell people if they get at one of these keychains and they have eight oils in them, and you need a little seven minute breaky pie, mm. you have a hundred breaks in here. You know what I mean? If you just work your way through your kit as a little break, right? Wow. So when you do that, what you so nice. that's why you like we like to use the oils that are pure in their purest form because then they flash off mm -hmm. and it's sort of like eating food that once it's sort of cleared out of your mouth, once it's sort of cleared off your hands and out of your sinuses and you've received that chemistry, you can do the next one. Right. Right? So you can do like a minute, minute and a half per oil and just sit there and cough away. Some yeah. lungs, some this, some in your mouth, lip plumper, right? Yeah. yeah. Sex mix. We don't know. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> we don't know. Maybe, Maybe a longer way than know. seven minutes. <laughs> I, I, carry, I carry sex mix. It's in my purse. <laughs> The vibration of it, you know what I mean? Sorry, there's facials and stuff going on. Okay, so. Um, I think you need something. Right? It's a little, still a little stir, but I feel like you need something really? deep. I feel it's like. You're not strong. You I need mean, a little something sweet. Oh, you're I getting close. Because it's not just spearmint anymore? Yeah. So Do I've you want a fourth? Spearmints? I think it needs a fourth. I think it needs a fourth. So that's why we start with three, because mm -hmm. rather than just. Changing the thing. Okay, tell me your intention with it once again. Um, to relieve self doubt, which you know, then it turns into a little bit of anxiety. And, yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's look at this again. Um. So would it make sense to go with another? Um, what about ginger? Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, now I'm busting out the other kit. Okay. Ginger's the oil of empowerment, and ginger's mm -hmm. in mojo. Oh, yeah. Mm. Now, okay, so now what we want to do this is makes... add this lid to your original three and put it together to make sure we like the smell okay. all four together. Otherwise, you know, because you never know, right? We could add a note and it's like honk. Yeah. So don't forget your spearmint lid. Right. And I hope you guys are learning, um, yeah, you know, that to to create, to invent a blend takes time. It's like creating a recipe, you know. It's nice. Can you spot the ginger, the change? Yeah, it's just, it's subtle. 
Yeah, okay, good. Because you want something subtle, yeah. but it's really, ginger is the oil of empowerment, like I said. Ginger holds no, ginger oil yeah, holds no reservation. Something, something. Right? something. A spearmint or something. Yeah, but it's yeah. really subtle. It's almost like it yeah, I love the mixed ginger. it a little. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, great. Let me see. Yeah. Hmm. That was a good That's interesting. Ooh. Yeah. I never think. Ooh. You know, originally, but I well, think because I think of ginger as so pungent, like very right. smooth. Yeah. yeah. If you go off of this, I mean, not that fear was your thing, but, but it is. It, is it, it turns into fear a little bit of a, a fear of not being something or yeah. whatever. Yeah. 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 And so yeah. ginger yeah. is on fear. Yeah. So, but it infuses that's a nice. warrior-like mentality Ooh, based nice. on personal integrity, centralized responsibility, and individual choice. Here the individual sees themselves as the creator of their own life, no longer waiting for outside circumstances to change. They choose their own destiny. The empowered individual assumes full responsibility and accountability for the consequences of their actions. Right? So, uh... <laughs> well, yep, yeah, that's where I'm at. Life right now. Yeah, great. So and my last um, name's Carrera, which means warrior. Great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So, so I would start with, like, four to four to five. Yeah, so yours is done. Now think of a name for yours. I have contemplating. Okay. Because you're going to make a sticker. Now they get to create a sticker. We printed out these sheets. Oh, we fought for hours over colors. For those of you who have our Game Changer kit or any of our oils and appreciate our color codedness, lots of arguing back and forth went into this. But yeah, I've got other colors here too. Shoot, I don't. what color do you think this one is? Mm. Citrus, clary, sage, bergamot. I have, uh, I have green. I must have green in here somewhere. Yeah. You want a green? Yeah. Like definitely. a brighter green? Maybe like that. Definitely a earthy. And clary sage, you says, is a flower. Clary sage is that a uh, light purple flower. Oh, I have this green if you want. Okay. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. That's the color my yoga mat. Perfect. <laughs> I like that too. Okay. I got to write on it. Well, you gotta come up with a name first. Oh. Do it, make it short. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we get really where the names come from. Now you know why it's fat lips. Fat lips, sex mix, mojo. Yeah. I try to do under eight to ten letters. Ooh. Yeah, that immediately kind of gave me a little verb. I like that. Yeah. It feels empowering. Yeah, like, you know, yeah. You needed like that, that extra punch, right? I need a little indecision while I think of my the name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the indecision? One? And then also orange is the oil of creativity, right? I like that. Indecision. Basil. Yeah. Here, so with this, this is the indecision one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what's the indecision one? Oh, basil. Oh. I like this plan on life with basil. I'm mm. into this. Yeah. So I have to come up with a new name for this one too. And I think I'm gonna add bergamot. I need a little self love too. We all do. You know, bergamot is a great oil for that. It's in the sex mix because you know you gotta love yourself. Now here's me telling everybody to write down the recipe. I didn't write to any of this down <laughs> because it's like part high on life, and then I added bergamot and basil. But I can do that. Earl gets so mad because I'll make this amazing meal out of just oh. whatever we have, and he'd be like, "How? Well, let's have this." And I'm like, "I don't know. I don't yeah. know." But that's the beauty in it. Yeah, It'll never be exactly what yes. it was. I like that. So that's kind of the luxury of being able to blend all the time. It's like, yeah, I'll just have a one off. But then later I'm like, but I love it. Uh, I'll write it down. I think what I put in. So I, I like mine. Like yeah. yeah. I love the ginger. I mean, I love yeah. ginger. Yeah. So That's now that you have your recipe, I wouldn't mess with it just for the act of filling the bottle. No, no, no. Totally. Like, yeah. So just redo it again. Yeah. When you do it again, you'll do it. You know, you'll do the same recipe. But again, those become your ratios, right? right. So, so you had ten, nine, and twelve. Yeah. Mm, those are your ratios. You can't really change that, right? Yes. So can you reduce yours down at all? You can divide by two. I could have done nine, nine, fur nine fur was well. seven, but okay. Two, 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 except for the fur. Okay. I wouldn't and even mind another. I mean, I think I could use another one. Okay. So then now you're going to come up with a name and put it on a sticker. Okay. 
and bottle. stick it on your bottle. Oh, Alright guys, yeah. so this is our uplifting mood blend. Um, we love to teach people how to make their own stuff with oils because I know some of you have these big bottles sitting like they're jewelry somewhere, not opening them, not using them because you don't know what to do with them, mm -hmm. right? Or you're blopping mm -hmm. out bottles. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so they're coming up with them. Or you're blopping out full size drops and you don't necessarily need that either, right? So yeah. this is a great way to start with a point A, think about your, with your point B, does it have that effect, right? Does it actually make you feel that way? And then that can be your little medicamento mm -hmm. for that condition for yourself, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and then what's nice is if it's something that happens to you a lot, just use it every day and make it stop happening to you. Oh. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Because there is like a cumulative effect when you use these oils regularly. So I'd rather you use a quarter to a half a drop, even All four right. or five times a day right it doesn't matter you can't over you, small you frequent I mean doses. you know yeah small frequent doses that's how you do oils Great. now your blend is also not edible because of oh, the yeah, not herb, I'm not right that. just so you know sometimes I just put a little small X on the bottles because there's only a few that aren't edible so sometimes I'll mark the bottle itself so I go hey that one's not edible right um, like balance isn't edible breathes not edible um, because some, you'll, you'll catch me going, I plunk all the time right? with the marjoram, especially with doTERRA. There are other edible brand blends, but we love doTERRA. So we're going to sign off. We're MalibuEO.com. If you want to enroll with us, you get two hours of free consultation. We're going to point you to all these great classes. Mm -hmm. Patty's going to help me get my online shit organized, which is so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's learning how to be a mentor. Amy's available. Where, where are you, Amy? I'm in Topanga. I come to you, really. Oh, I'm a health great. coach, so yeah. That's great. Yeah. Do you have a website? It's going to be launched on June 28th. Woo. Okay. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thanks, guys. We're mydoterra.com slash Malibu if you haven't ordered yet, but otherwise, get yourself some new oils. Okay, bye.